Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hi, I'm Dennis, and welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast, episode number 122, which is conversely my late father's favorite number. No. Um, today's blog is a clip a little video clip from a call I had with an advisor. And what we were talking about was the difference between service and experience, which is something that I am always talking about because so many people confuse them. So my question for you today, before you watch this little clip, is just that. Are you confusing service with experience? Is your experience all about saving your customers time? And are you then um, inadvertently driving your clients away. Okay, please enjoy this clip. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Be kind. Asking them to attend. Can I create something that's worth the hassle? Can I stage an experience that is completely personalized and made only, you know, staged only at this time for this client, a one-of-a-kind experience designed to engage them and delight them. As my friend Joe Pine says, in an inherently personal way. That's how he says that. Isn't that lovely? An inherently personal way. Okay, can I justify? Do, so, you know, it's not, you know, do I need an office? It's do I need a stage, right? So I, I think that you should consider this. I don't think you're looking at it the right way. You're looking at it from a service standpoint. How can I save Dennis time? Does he value that? Then he can stay in his backyard and he never even has to put on shoes to have his financial planning meeting. Like, okay, I suppose. But what if you took the time to stage an experience that's so incredible? Like, use your imagination. What if you took the time to stage an experience that was so incredible, okay, that it justified the investment of time it takes me to experience you? Okay, time is the currency of experience. It's rule number two. I tell you this constantly, by the way, right? So it's like, you go all the way to the city? Oh, yeah. Here's why. And then what's the story your client tells? Oh. Do they tell a different story? Oh, yeah, I go down and here's why. Like, what's the story they tell? What do you do with your client? So, again, from a service standpoint... Save your clients as much hassle as you can, make it easy as you can, but service is commoditized. That doesn't help you create uh, any justification for a premium fee. If you wanna be able to justify charging somebody for an experience, charging more a premium fee, you have to be highly differentiated, obviously, but you also have to be highly relevant. The experience has to have meaning to the client. So I assure you, if this was a discussion, if you lived an hour from me, if you lived in, let's say, you know, Arnprior, Ontario, just up the road, or even, you know, an hour, up to an hour away from here, same idea. I could absolutely stage an experience that you would not only come to, you would look forward to it, and you would tell everybody you know about it twice. They'd all say, tell me that again. Okay? Brother, it's not other financial advisors that are going to put you out of business, so to speak, you know? It's not uh, robo-advisors. It's not fee compression. It's a, it's a lack of imagination. You've got to create an experience that you could justify charging a fee for. Like, just keep that at the front of your head. That's what you're doing. It's got to be an experience. An experience is not a service. An experience is what? It's, it's a memory. It's a change. It reaches inside you. It grabs a holy. Oh, you become aware and you pay attention to what is going on. Do you ever do that with really great service? No. And for you to have an amazing experience, it has to be what? Authentic. It's got to be you. It's got to be something you believe in. Okay? It has to be authentic. And you have to be generous. You have to want to share it. You have to believe in it. People have to want to buy into it. So again, like don't get don't get confused by those two things. Go like write this question down. This this stumbled out of a call I had the other day, and I, I said, you know, I was all fired up talking to this guy, and I said, you know, come on, man. Somebody leaves your office 
And what do they go and do? Somebody has drank the Kool-Aid. They've gone through the fit process. They've learned all about you. They want your worldview. They want to buy in. Now they're done. They're officially like, you know, member of the tribe. Where do they go? They leave your office and they go do what? You know, and I shared where my clients would go because of my worldview and all that stuff. So now I need, the, I need to know that from you. Hey, okay, don't confuse service with experience. Answer that question for me the next time that we talk. Tell me, you know, where they're going to go and tell me what this experience is. What's this three word, the, the three words that sum up what you're, what you're trying to do. What's going to inform everything we do going forward. And that's it, my man. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift broadcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode.